Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I am excited to bring you your story again today. How's everybody been doing? Hope you've been doing well. I've been doing okay. I um, really miss you guys, and I wish that we could be together soon. And so hopefully we will. Things are changing, so maybe people will start getting better and this virus will go away and we'll be able to be back together at church with each other again. So the last couple of weeks, we've talked a lot about Jesus and we've talked about um, Jesus. Wow, our stories really started way back in December, back before Christmas when we could meet together. We talked about Jesus being born. And then last week we talked about Jesus dying on the cross. And then three days after that, he got to rise from the dead and we... We, we don't often talk about what happens after that. And a lot of times my lesson books will move on to something else. So, but you guys get to have a story about what happens after Jesus comes back to life and is on earth again. So I'm going to tell you that story today. And this is, this is Jesus. I'm going to show you a picture while I tell it to you. And it says after Jesus, uh, I'm going to tell you this. I forgot. Our story comes from uh, Luke chapter 24, also comes from Acts. And, um... So remember, those are in the what testament? Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Acts is also in New Testament. So both are in the New Testament. I hope you remembered that. Here is Jesus. And after Jesus came back to life, boys and girls, he was he was with his disciples. And these are his disciples that he's speaking with. He was with them for 40 days. On the last day, I want to make sure I have showing you the picture. On the last day that Jesus was on earth, he went walking with his disciples. They went up to a hill outside of Jerusalem near Bethany. Jesus found a place to stop so he could talk to his disciples. He gathered his disciples around and then he blessed them. Jesus blessed his disciples so that they would know what he, that he loved him and that he would always love him no matter what. Jesus wanted his disciples to understand that he would always care for them. When Jesus was talking with his disciples, he started all of a sudden. Are you ready for this? What do you think he's going to do? What do you think is going to happen to Jesus? All of a sudden, Jesus starts going up into the sky. Look at this. Oh my goodness, my picture just keeps growing and growing and growing. Growing and growing. Look at that picture. You're exactly right if you guessed he went up to heaven because that's exactly what he does. The disciples looked up into the sky to see Jesus leave. They watched with wonder as he went up into the clouds. Even after they could not see Jesus anymore, they were still looking up into the sky. And suddenly, two angels appeared. And they asked, why are you looking in the sky? Jesus went back to heaven, but he will come back someday. The disciples understood where Jesus had went. They knew that he is God's son and that he went back to be with God his Father in heaven. The disciples also knew that even though Jesus went back to heaven, he still loves them. They knew that whenever, uh, they were excited, excuse me, the disciples were so excited about Jesus and his love for them that they ran back to Jerusalem and they went to worship God and they went spreading the good news and telling so many others. And today and every day of our lives, we know that Jesus loves us too. No matter what we do, whether it's good or bad, Jesus is always going to love us. Nothing can separate us from the good love of Jesus and God our Father. So we don't have to talk about what happens to Jesus after he comes back to life. But there you have it. He was on earth for 40 days and went right back up to heaven to be with God. And the disciples, his apostles, got to watch it. How cool is that? Um, and they were so astonished that God sent some angels to explain it all and say, quit looking, you're, you're fine. Jesus just went right back up to heaven. He'll be back one day. And we're still waiting on Jesus' second arrival. So boys and girls, I hope you have a wonderful week ahead of you. Miss Tanya loves you. I'm praying for you and your family. And I can't wait to see you soon. Bye-bye.
Love you guys.